Hey everyone, hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well. I hope you're having a good week. We're going to do a past, present, and future reading today. I already pre-shuffled this reading, and we have past, present, and future. Ooh, these are neat cards. So for the past, we have Persephone with New Beginnings. So you might have had some new beginnings in your life. Maybe you just got married. Maybe you just moved in with uh, your partner or your significant other. Um, I'm definitely getting wedding because of this white flowing dress with all these flowers over here. So you might have just been gotten married. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Um, in the present, we have Raw. Share your gift. So you might be focusing more on yourself now, more on your creative abilities and skills. Um, you might be painting, you might be really into painting landscapes. I'm getting all those clouds um, behind him in the sunset. Um, and Ra is the symbol of the sun, so you might be gaining a lot of creative ideas right now for your work or whatever um, you do. You may be going to school right now. Uh, I'm getting, you might have just uh, started a new class of some sort, maybe an artistic um, class. Um, you might have gone to like one of those wine and painting uh, events. And then I'm getting for the future, I'm getting Star Maiden Rest. So it sounds like you've been really busy, you've really been on your game <laughs> of life. And it's now time to rest. You, you, that's what's coming in the future, but you also might already kind of be at this point of wanting to rest. Um, we have Mr. Kitty here falling off my lap. Oh, he's such a big kitty. Oh, he's such a cute kitty. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> but, um, so I'm getting that. You know, you've had these new beginnings in the past. You're now able to hone in on your creative abilities right now. And you're working really hard right now. And soon it's going to be time to rest because you've been working so hard. So right now it's a time to take care of yourself. Um, get creative. Start something new um, that is creative. Uh, it, it just flows right in with this new beginnings card. Um and you might be sharing your gift of some sort and that might have ow no biting that might have um what was i gonna say sorry about that um mr felix bit me no biting no biting <laughs> um let me get back on track <laughs> these new beginnings that you've um, started might be creative endeavors and you've just been working really really hard on to make this um, perfect and you know to be happy with the results so I'm gonna read a little bit from each one because I'm still learning these cards and I want to share the correct information and it's amazing when it matches up like the cards just flow together. Um, so Persephone is new beginnings, a time of complete renewal. You have the power to create light-filled change and rebirth. Perhaps it feels as though something in your life is ending or broken down, yet Persephone invites you to see things differently as an opportunity for magical new beginnings. Uh, like, a like a phoenix rising, you're a skilled alchemist who can begin over and over again in life, creating stronger foundations, soul-inspired work, and enriched relationships. You have what it takes to ascend into spring, taking deep spiritual lessons from the underworld with you. Okay, so you, you've definitely had some fresh new magical beginnings. And now you are in this energy of sharing these beginnings with others. Raw is share your gift. The perfect time is now. Say yes and show up. It says Raw leads you 
into his temple and declares, The world needs what you have to give. There's no such thing as the perfect time to share your creations and energy. So yeah, I'm getting like, if you've been feeling stuck or just like people aren't going to be interested in what you have to share, that's that's not true. It, it might take a little longer for people to notice you because you're not sharing. So sharing can be a gift to others. You know, you might change someone's life even by something very simple. Um, and just remember that you're you're more powerful than than you know, than you can acknowledge, really. The power is there, but you have to hone in on that energy and really be confident in yourself and your abilities to share your true emotions with others. Okay. <laughs> I like this. It says, you'll never feel completely ready to give your deepest soul gifts, so start now. <laughs> That's very true. So then we have Star Maiden, which is this one. Star Maiden is all about rest, recovery, and renewal, a pause in the journey. The message is simple. You need to slow down. Star Maiden wraps her starry cloak around your tense shoulders, giving you permission to allow the regenerative act of being, a much-needed respite from constant doing. And this is a good invocation here. <clears throat> it says, I slow down my pace and heal. I relax and replenish my soul. So going into the future here, you don't want to overwork yourself. You need to give yourself time to rest and recharge so that you can then tackle your other creative endeavors uh, with a happy and healthy mind, heart, soul. Um, and I just saw something about here on uh, about PTSD. You might be suffering from PTSD. Um, I encourage you to reach out and try to get some help. Um, PTSD is such a complicated um, <clears throat> disorder that you know um, it's really hard to heal without some some support, um, even from like your friends, your family, especially doctors, um, holistic healers. Um, reach out and see what's out there um, and get some help because I suffer with PTSD so I totally understand um, reaching out for help can be like really hard and it feels maybe shameful or you know you're scared to let yourself be open to get the help and that's okay you know but if you stay stuck in that energy and not get any help that's not gonna get you to a very healthy place in life and you deserve to feel good and to be able to live your life um, <clears throat> in a manner that you feel is healthy and supportive of, of what your body and your heart and your mind really needs. So don't feel bad about reaching out for help. I've had to reach out for help a few different times, you know, and some situations were more serious than others. Um, if it's a really serious situation, please, you know, try going to your nearest psych hospital and, um, you know, that's like in extreme emergencies, uh, but I am, that is what's coming through right now. So please, please reach out for help if you're needing help or if someone else is needing help, please help them research options to help, um, locate your psychiatric center, you know, in your city and, ask for their advice. Um, there's people wanting to help, willing to help. They That is what they love to do. So please reach out for help. There's people out there that are wanting to help you, okay? You're not alone in this. You really aren't. So please reach out, get some help, okay? Um, I know this was kind of a short reading, um, but... That's what uh, Spirit wanted me to say today. So um, I love you all. Um, please like, comment, share, uh, subscribe. I really appreciate all your support. Um, I think that's it. I will see you all on the next reading. Bye.